Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm talking about how to make perfume at home with essential oils and also giving you five fall perfume recipes. I've done a perfume video before and I've done a couple of shorts. It's a really popular topic with essential oils. It's one of the reasons that I, or the number one reasons I use oils and I'm, I've never done a fall uh, recipe video. So I have five recipes for perfumes for fall. I'm going to make one, but first I'm just going to go over kind of the basics of how to make a perfume and a couple of tips. So the first thing is to gather everything that you'll need. So a carrier oil like loaded with almond oil right now. So I'm using almond, but you could use coconut. I'm going to do a whole video on carrier oils that I've been meaning to do for so long. So if you're seeing this, comment below and remind me. Um, but anyways, then get your bottles. There are tons of pretty bottles on Amazon to make um, like perfume rollers if you want it to be a pretty bottle. This is just your very basic 10 milliliter roller. Um, and then there's also these spray tops. They go, I can't remember if this fits on the roller or if it fits on the top of an essential oil bottle. Let's check it out. No, so this type of spray top is linked on my Amazon store will fit on this type of bottle. Um, so if you're a Simply Earth sus subscriber, you get lots of empty bottles. Um, so you could make your perfume in one of these and put a spray top on it. Um, but just a thought, different ways to do different things. Okay, and then next, um, what else? Oh, you might need a funnel. I just like to wing it. Um, and then make sure you have a card. I just like these simple index cards to write all of my recipes down on. I have all of them here in my drawer. I need to probably organize them, but um, make sure you write it down because you might think it's too strong in one area or you wanna change it up for next time or you want the exact recipe. And it's such a bummer when you forget how many drops or whatever. Um, so always write down your recipe. Um, and then think in mind, um, either get your recipes in line wherever, or if you're creating, coming up with your own, um, keep in mind like top, middle, and base notes. So top notes are the first scents you notice, and then they're the ones that don't last as long. So those are like citrus oils, um, bergamot, lemon, um, grapefruit. I'll put a list of more in this blog post. And all the recipes that I'm going to have for the fall um, recipes will be in this blog post as well. Middle notes are um, the heart of the fragrance. They last a little longer than top notes. Um, so those are like lavender, rose, geranium. And then base notes are the foundation of the perfume. They provide like the depth and the richness um, and they generally last the longest. So like think patchouli, cedarwood, vanilla, frankincense. Uh, okay, so then experiment with your ratios, experiment um, with what you kind of want your uh, perfume to smell like. Um, sometimes I just go with a woodsy oil or an outdoors oil, a uh, citrus and a floral and kind of mix those different elements together. Sometimes it's all wood type of oil. Sometimes it's all floral. So it just depends on my mood, what I want to mix up that day. Um, but a common ratio is 20 to 30% essential oils to 70 to 80% carrier oil. The next step is to calculate your drops of each essential oil if you're formulating, again, on your own a new recipe. So a way to do that is to hold up all of your essential oils and pick up which oil you recognize first. That's going to be your strongest oil and that's going to be the oil that you use the least amount of. Um, and then put that one down and then you'll have less and then do the same process. So repeat that, see which one you pick up first, put that one down, and then that will be your second to least amount of drops and then do the process with the last two oils. So that will kind of give you a more balanced blend if you're going for that. But if you want it to be super strong on frankincense or something like that, then obviously just do more frankincense. But that is how you would get a well-balanced, that's like the aromatherapist um, way to create a blend that is balanced. Then after that is all done, it's super easy. You just add your oils to the empty glass bottle, whatever you're using, make sure you swirl it and mix that together and then fill it with carrier oil. Now, the next thing and the last tip before we get into making a recipe is make sure you let your blend sit and marinate and mix and blend together for, I don't know, at least three days, but maybe a week before you finally judge it because it's going to like marry and like mix all together and it's probably going to get stronger. So if you feel like at first um, you don't think that it's as strong as you want it to be per for a perfume, just let it sit a week and then check on it. It should be good to go after that. Okay. That is it. Let's make a recipe. The one I'm going to make from this blog post is 
autumn woods perfume so there's a spice citrus which is kind of cinnamony and vanilla and um citrusy then vanilla pumpkin spice which is a little twist on the typical um, pumpkin spice cozy herbal um so like herbs rosemary patchouli and then harvest spice um which is kind of a more of a typical pumpkin spiced or um, fall perfume. So we're making autumn woods. It's 10 drops cedar wood, seven frankincense, five juniper berry, and five pine. And I have all of those oils here. So I'm going to do 10 drops cedar wood. Actually, first I'm gonna label it so none of it gets down there and drips. I have this pretty cheap um, Dymo Letra Tag label maker, um, but there's tons of these on Amazon. I like the old school ones too that kind of punch out the numbers. I actually would prefer that, but this one is just what I have. So we're going to just make a quick label. They also have different um, labels for this maker. They have waterproof ones, which I prefer. This one's more of a paper label, but it'll work for now. I'm just going to put that on. So we have a labeled bottle, and then I'm gonna do 10 drops cedar wood. I hope this is in focus, sorry if it's not. There we go. No? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Next is seven frankincense. This is gonna be a very grounding and woodsy. I'm actually making this for a cologne for Chris. Frankincense, king of essential oils. Why is this not? Okay, maybe if I hold it back. Okay, there you go. Seven, was it? Juniper berry five and pine five. I love pine. And last is juniper berry. The thing I love about creating blends and creating and replacing like perfume or body wash or whatever it is with essential oils, you're not only eliminating the toxins that were in your synthetic fragrance and toxic products before, but you're replacing them with therapeutic benefits too. So you're getting like a twofold type of thing and I love that so much. So I'm actually gonna put the roller on, shake these up really good and then add my carrier. This smells so good. This is my almond oil. That took so much focus. All right, so now this is ready to sit for, I don't know, a couple of days up to a week and then test it out, try it, see if it's up to your standards or what you wanted to make and if it's not you can change it it's easy to do that make a new blend add to it things to just be mindful of are uh, make sure you're not using photosynthetic photosensitive oils especially since you're putting perfume you don't really like out in the open because you don't want to go into the sun after putting like orange essential oil on um, make sure you or look for that make sure you're using high quality essential oils the list of our favorites are in this blog post and always in the description of my videos and then also for storage, even though this is in a darker, like amber color bottle, make sure you're storing your essential oils and blends like this out of direct sunlight. Like a dark, cool room is best. So if you're throwing it in your purse, that would probably be good. Um, just as long as it's like covered and out of the sun, basically. Um, if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Let me know which perfume idea, uh, fall perfume, you're going to try down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.